um, here any second. So, good morning, you guys. Are we broadcasting live? Yes, we are. <laughs> good morning, and welcome to our Fox 11 Newsroom Hangout, kind of our behind-the-scenes look at what we do here. We're going to hang out with Katie Lowe's, hopefully very soon. Anthony, are you going to go get Katie? It's, yes, 8.41. Um, that's Anthony back there. You know Anthony, he goes and uh, he books our guests along with Heather. Run, 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 chop, chop. Oh, gosh. Sorry, no time for bagels, no time for a friendly chit-chat. <laughs> you can't help me right back. It's 840. I'm at the top of the nine today, so I don't have much time to play. Um, so, uh, anyway, I'm at the top of the nine o'clock newscast, so you know how usually I, I leave at 9.06. I think today I have to leave right at nine, so I want to make sure we get our questions in for Katie, who is the uh, one of the stars of uh, Scandal. You guys know that show. Right? I think we talked with her once before. She's hung out with us before. You're... She has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, why was I logged out of Google? That's weird. Um, that was really strange, right? We were talking and all of a sudden it just shut down. Mm. Saw that. It seemed like you tried to get back in it kicked you straight back out as well. What's that? It looked like you tried to get back in and it booted you straight back out. Yeah. That, yeah. And I jumped back in. Yeah, it was weird. It was really strange. Google seems to be doing a bunch of things. Um, I wish they would do it like after our hangout. Is that selfish? That is kind of selfish, isn't it? But, you know, I mean, that's what we do. We try to advertise Google Plus through all of LA, which is a pretty big market, actually. So they should let us do it. You know what I'm saying, Google? Um, every day. Uh, so, anywho, I still love you. Okay. How are you guys doing today? Good. Doing good. Thanks. Good. Tired. <clears throat> I still have my cold. I feel bummed out about that. I went to the doctor's yesterday and he offered me up some antibiotics and I should have taken it. I might have to call him today. Well, you didn't take them? No, it was a dummy, right? I don't know why. I was like, no, I, I, take, I take, If the doctor offers me drugs, I'll take them. <laughs> No, because, because I, I mean, I, I believe in, in medical science anyway. I mean, there's a lot of these people think, oh, I don't want to take it. I mean, you obviously shouldn't overdo it, but um, no, if the doctor, because no. the, the doctor doesn't want to give you drugs. So if they're saying, here, take these drugs, then... Well, he didn't say that, to be fair. He did say, um, he goes, how are you feeling? Are you feeling better, worse than you were on Monday? And I said, actually... I'm kind of the same. I feel like maybe I need to get over the. I just need some sleep and get over the hump over the weekend. And um, I, but I don't think it's the flu or an infection. And he goes, well, if it turns into an infection, I won't go into the details of what an infection is. You have a cold. But when I woke up this morning, I thought, darn it, I think it's an infection now. I think it's a sinus infection. So I should have just taken it. So now I have to call him and see if he can get me that antibiotic. Bye. Maria, you need to go out and get some real chili Rianos, like as hot as possible. That'll Green chili Rianos. Up. Yeah, that will just like make me drip like crazy. And um, give you the best serving of vitamin C you can get anywhere, so that would be awesome. Really? Because whenever, whenever I used to get sick before, I would go and get pho. Do you know what pho is? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh, I'm impressed. One of those three-letter words. It is. It's P H O. So you guys ready? We're gonna go to um, our shot here. Yes, I will. Um, it's a um, it's a Vietnamese soup. Yeah. And you put the hot sauce on it. It's really good. It's got all these vegetables and um, oh, there's Trev. I gotta get Trev in there. Okay. You guys ready? Of course, Katie loves. Okay, ready? <laughs> I know, I really want to see who's going to come join us in our Google Hangout, but I am hanging out with all these guys from all over the world, so you come join us. Katie Lowe's is coming in, and uh, you'll get a chance to ch chat with her. Come on to youtube.com slash myfoxla, and we can chat. Right, guys? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if they took our shot here or the other one. I think they took the other one. 
Well, <laughs> that when you were getting ready to go and you were sort of, because you can just insta smile like that, can't you? Put your put your um, camera smile on. Are we on? Are we on? <laughs> you kept going back and forth between it, like smiling. And... Yeah, you could tell because <laughs> I went to here, then I went to there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, there's a little difference, huh? When when you know that the camera is on me, then I change just a little bit, and I noticed that too. It's just hmm. a little extra oomph. Um, because hmm. it's different. I think it's per it's not as intimate as this, so it has to be just. Well, you've got to be a different because this this is is you, isn't it? When, when you're in the hangout, this is who you really are. Yeah. But when you're on when you're on TV, it, it, it can't be, can it? it? You've got to be somebody else. Um, if if only a little bit, you know, you've, you've got to be. Just a little bit, yeah, just a little yeah. bit. So you get little bits of me. So you'll get the biggest bursts of me. Whereas here, you get bursts, and then you get the lulls too. Hmm. So it's the more accurate me, I suppose. Like you'd never, you'd never have one of one of the arguments you have with Tony on air, would you? You might have a little bit of a, a you know what I mean, but you'd never have the same kind of argument that when you're digging at each other here, you wouldn't do that on air. We do a little bit on the air. It's just, yeah. it's just really a function of time. There's just so little time there, and here we have the luxury of time, so we can. Yeah. We know how to condense certain things, and then it gets heightened because it's so condensed. <laughs> High pressure, low pressure. Anyway, here she is. Selfie! Hi, Katie. Are you tweeting? I'm yeah, going to retweet. Hi. So nice to see you. you be, be, be. Yeah, I know. We're all over the place. You know where to go. I'm like, where am I going? I don't know what's happening. You were going to go over there where we were last time. That's right. So good see, job. amazing that my instincts were coming up. Remember. So we've okay. got some guys that we're hanging out with here like yes. last time. I don't know if you remember. I do. Awesome. Well, welcome back to our hangout. Thank you. You look fabulous. Thank you. Happy I holidays. appreciate it. Happy holidays to you, too. You're very festive and red. Am. I've got my little Christmas tree up. I just have to I love kind it. of... Uh, Plug it in, there it guys. is, guys. Oh, there it is. La 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 la. Getting everyone la. into the spirit. <laughs> um, Katie Lowe's is joining us from Scandal. Hi you everybody. Know, Quinn. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Very popular show. Um, it's Scandal, of course. Um, yes. So I want to quickly introduce you to everybody here. Okay. We've got um, Hector, who's joining us from the Inland Empire. Hi, Hector. Jimmy is. Hello. Good morning. Down. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, John, hey, hey, hey. here somewhere. John is also in the IE. Mm -hmm. Matt is in Reno. Hi, Matt. What up, Reno? <laughs> Nick is in um, Dallas. Hi. Good morning. Nick is in the UK. He's hi. In Yorkshire. Hi, dude. It's afternoon, I think, up there. And uh, I want to say hi to you, our YouTubers. Hey, dudes, girls. <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> Hello, world on YouTube. If you have a question, um, Put it in the uh, comments box. Oh, which I didn't open prior to this. Oh, no, no, there it is. There we Maybe go. I broke Google. No, I did not break Google, Diano. Come um, join us, please, in our Hangout. Yes. So how have you been since the last time we saw you? I have been so good. It's been yeah. really, really busy, and I just think since last time I've seen you uh -huh. that Scandal has <laughs> even... Uh, it's <laughs> just even crazier even and more bigger. scandalous, and mm -hmm. um, there's just a lot of huge, amazing Scandal fans in my life who it's have really strong crazy. opinions about the well, show. Well, didn't we find out that the guy, um, I forget his name now, he's now actually her dad. Um, yeah, Joe um, Morton, who plays yes. Rowan. Yeah, Rowan, yes. Is now we find out is her father. We yes, that was the uh, season finale yes. of season two. Is that moment, that epic, amazing moment where she gets in the limo and she says, "Dad," mm. and like the hush came over the world in that moment of just um, freak outs all around. When we read that script at the table read, we all stood up and started abs like screaming and pointing at each other for two minutes. We couldn't believe it. None of us knew yeah. that Rowan was the dad. Well, except for him. I think he had an inkling he knew. Um, way back. Shonda had told him. Yes, yes. yes. So he did know. It was it was hard for him to keep it in apparently, but um, but yeah, he did. He yes. did a great job of doing it. Yeah. Now, you guys, I know that some of you are huge, huge fans of Scandal, um, like Matt, our Matt uh, Moore, Hi, Matt. who has discussions. Okay. Um, I think based on the show uh, Scandal. So, cool. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Matt? Geeks of the round, you go guys. I actually, actually, uh, it was Kim Beasley that did the scandal discussion. Oh, I don't know if she filled up. Oh, well, then she should come join us. Yes. Yeah. But, but yeah, I do not miss an episode of Scandal. I love the show. It's Thank amazing. you, Matt. Thank you. Yeah. 
we need you guys because honestly the show would not be happening and we would all not have jobs if it wasn't for you guys and you spreading the word and you tuning in on Thursdays. It's like incredible. What season number is that? This is three. Oh, wow. And we just had the table read yesterday for um, the, the first episode back after the winter finale. So that's episode 311. So this season we're doing 22 episodes. 22. And, the, and, and at the fast pace you guys do and the kind of dialogue you do, wouldn't it feel like season five maybe? It totally does. I think most um, television scripts for an hour long are about 60 pages mm -hmm. and our scripts are sometimes about 85. So um, we talk really quickly. We shoot really fast and a lot of material and a lot of dialogue but it's become you know it, it's it's the it's the it's the backbone of the show you know like that pace and I think it's kind of why people tune in every week is because there's just so much material it's so fast and yeah. and, and people um, I get a lot I think I've watched it once and I ha you have to hear me yeah. I have a two-year-old but That's I did fine. watch and I swear I had to have the um you know the closed caption because <laughs> I just couldn't my grand my mom yeah. has the same thing so yeah. my grandma they get together every week and they have to have the closed caption on yes. we speak so quickly yes. um and also because there are so many plot twists and turns mm -hmm. you can miss something it's, it's one of those shows where you said, can't exactly say? and you can't multitask right. like it's not like you can be you know, mm -hmm. doing your laundry or catching up on the week's work. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really, it takes a lot of you attention. Have to pay attention. Yes. Um, do you guys have some questions? Oh, yeah, go ahead, Jimmy. Well, my question is first of all, I love the show, and, um, and I watch it every week. Uh, scandal Pace, you guys would do the Scandal Pace. I think that's just amazing how you actually can, can do that. My yeah. question is for you when you, um, when you realize that you had killed that security guard, the look of terror on your face. Yeah. Oh my Quinn's God. Quinn's a killer now. Quinn yeah. the killer. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the look, the look on, of terror on your face afterwards. Did you? Um, was that part of, like the scene? Like, did you get that from the scene, or did you think of something else in your head to get to get that look on your face? Like. Uh, I think it was definitely in the scene. You know, uh, what I love about that scene is the moment before into the moment of absolute freak out because I love that journey she goes on in that like couple seconds. It's like she stabs the security guard's arm and she's she's like, oh my gosh, I just got a little bit of a hit of that addiction that she's been yeah, dealing with. And also, drug, yeah. Exactly. And also she felt... Like yeah, like Quinn's a bunch of she's a little bit of an overachiever. She wants to do the best job, and so she got this assignment from Charlie, and yeah. she gets it. And then all of a sudden, in a split second, she starts to put two and two together that she's this is not going right. Something is horribly wrong. Charlie's not picking up the phone, and this guy is all of a sudden having seizures and foams coming out of his mouth. So I think it turns from oh like God. joy to wow. sheer horror and shock. And those are my like kind of favorite moments on the show because you get to have a a that full range. journey yeah. in a matter of like you know ten seconds. That is I, I thought that was I thought that was incredible. I'm, I'm an actor as well. I just thought that was incredible how you did that. So. Thank you so much. Dayana um, just wanted to make a comment how uh, you do have to kind of watch each episode twice to make sure you haven't missed anything. <laughs> it's, it's so true, true. Diano. Like so true. That's how we feel too when we get this. You have to read it twice. When we right? get the scripts, at least you have to read it twice. I mean, there are so many things going on in not only your personal storyline but all the other storylines of the characters, and you have to keep it all straight. Great. We help each other a lot on set when we're in the makeup room. I'm like, what did you do last week? And what am I? And do we hate each other now? Or do we love each other? Or where do we oh, stand? That's good. I always wondered about that. And maybe I'll ask you another yes. question related to that. But Matt, I know you have a question. Please go ahead. Hi, Matt. Sorry, I was muted. Um, I just just want to say that that uh, the the first season was a lot about uh, uh, about Olivia Pope, yes. and it, it, every character since then you've all carved yourself out a nice niche in the show and it's been amazing the journey and uh, I just had a question with uh, for Quinn's journey specifically uh, how was it um, okay with the security guard you kinda tricked into that you were not tricked into torturing that, that, that or your character was not tricked into torturing that guy like how was that was that was that disturbing for you or did you because it was disturbing I for some to, of us yeah I have to say it's a great question um, I have to say, as an actress, I was like just incredibly excited because, you know, 
Shonda Rhimes just writes these amazing characters. I mean, you all know and saw where Quinn started and how she was the newbie, and she was kind of like the audience in the first season. She asked a lot of questions, the questions that the audience would have. And to see her journey and how the Scandal writers and Shonda Rhimes have evolved her into being Huck's protege, and then seeing that there's like this dark side of Quinn that's similar to the dark side in Huck, and why does she have that? And, you know, I think she has a lot of daddy issues and family issues and the things that she's been through. But um, for me, I was not scared. I was so psyched about it. I can't even tell you because that's the stuff. I mean, that's the stuff that you get to do in this job like that you would never do in real life. I mean, I'm never going to take a power mm -hmm. drill to a dude's thigh. That's just never going to happen. But in my job... Well, it could know. happen. You know how to work it. <laughs> <laughs> but in my job, I get to make pretend. And how cool that I get to pretend to be someone who is a little bit... Something's not right and yeah. something dark mm -hmm. is living inside her. Um, because I'm not, I don't, I'm not like that in real life. But, you know, I think everybody has, if you really were to go there with your imagination, you can tap mm -hmm. into it, and that's what sure. I get to do. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, Thank you for the question. Great question. No problem. Piano's piping in again. Quinn equals Huck Jr. Yes. Baby Hawk, Huck Baby Jr., Hawk. Uh -huh. which I think you all know tonight. Um, yeah, what's going on tonight? Baby yeah. Hawk and Hawk. Um, I can't really say anything. I'm sure you all saw the promo for the episode tonight. It's called YOLO. You only live once. Yolo. And, oh, is that um, what that means? Yeah, you only live once. Oh, Maria. Okay. How do you know that? <laughs> really sweet. Okay. Um, that's good, though. You learn yeah, something new every day. Yeah, from you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, <laughs> and I think we all saw in the promo that section where Huck licks Quinn's face. Yeah. Um, oh. And, yeah. you know, all I can say is nothing in scan. Did you do that in real, for real? Yeah. yeah that's. Oh dirty. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty creepy yeah. scene in the intro, in the promo. Yeah, and all I can say about it is, you know, nothing on Scandal is ever what you see, what it seems. Creepy, like this guy. Yeah. Steven <laughs> Spielberg behind yeah. you. Hey, yeah. Josh. <laughs> Steven Spielberg, what's up? <laughs> I just said, I've never seen this. You've never Anybody heard that before. Here that doesn't watch Scandal. Game <laughs> on. All right, I've seen it You're once. The best. I'm sorry. Um. So I think, uh, you know, nothing is as it seems. You know, you've seen that little clip, but who really knows what's going on? And there's so much mm -hmm. more to the story. And I just couldn't be more excited. I saw um, a screening of the episode yesterday so I could prepare my live tweets for tonight. And um, I have to say it was the hardest, it was the hardest, most challenging shooting of my entire Entire life. Oh wow! This and must I, be good. I cannot must wait for you to see. And again, looking back to the torture thing, it's like as scary and amazing and challenging as this episode is tonight for mm -hmm. Quinn and everything she gets to do. Um, it was awesome for me as an actress to get to do it. Well, you guys, listen. You have to tune in tonight to Scandal with that tease mm -hmm. um, from Katie. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, again thank today. you guys all so it's much for joining so fun and your questions you. and for watching. And I really appreciate it. I just want to applaud you guys because you're one of the rare teams that interact and talk to fans like you do. I I mean, I think it's just fabulous. Oh my gosh, we have to. We wouldn't have jobs without just, you guys. No, but it's just... I mean, it's it's here. Here. Let's take a quick photo before you go. Yes. Okay, here's the camera. Ready? One, two, three, cheese. Oh, no, oh. no, no. Oh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> no, let's do it again. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Yay. Okay, um, I gotta go on the set. Yes. Um, and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, Thank you, Gladiator. Thanks a lot, Thank you. Bye. Actually, it takes a while. while for me to come back because I have to do some other things, but then I'll be back eventually. Maybe you guys okay. can come back. Okay. Okay. You'll be okay. Hey, All right. Hey, you're the best. Dad. You're the best. Dad. Have Josh come in. I I was gonna say I could have talked to her for a, a while because I have a lot of stuff. Like yeah. Uh, the upcoming episode, it, it looks like it's going to be very, very good. Not that any episode isn't very good. Oh yeah, I know. Seriously, I, 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 at the end of the, at the end of every show, I always take that the uh, the screening for the next show and run it in slow motion so I can see all the quick cuts to see what's actually happening next the following week. Yeah, it's it's something me and Deanna were talking about yesterday. Is is the fact that uh, Quinn. Her best friend is Huck. I mean, that is her best friend. Yeah. And and yet there is no doubt in 
I, I doubt that, or at least my thought is, is there is no doubt that Quinn believes that Huck will torture her for days to find out what's going on. Yeah. And that's her best friend. We well, you can see it in her face. Um, yeah, yeah. She uh, knows she knows hmm. that you don't screw around with with, with Huck. You just don't. And uh, well, because she knows that anybody she knows that anybody that's in B sixteen lives for that for B sixteen. So any anything else in their life is expendable, yeah. you know. Well, it, it was just the thought of, of how how bad does your life have to be? How screwed up in the head do you have to be to where your best friend is willing to torture you in any circumstance whatsoever? Yeah. Well, they you screw really you up looking for more friends. That's all I'm saying. Well, part of B sixteen is that they screw you up. That they do that. You know that they do the screwing up. You know. Yeah. They have their their methods, leaving you in a box and doing whatever you have to do, and you know. No, I'm just saying that Quinn needs to get out more, basically. <laughs> Very true. So what's everybody else doing? I see. Uh, everybody's got looking over to the side of their screens. I'm looking. Uh, I was just um, sending a tweet to the new um, Good LA member uh, Marla. Yeah, sucking up, eh? Of course you are. <laughs> I work night, so I'm going to go back to sleep. Bye, guys. Oh, See you later. Thanks for popping in. I'll be sucking up as well, but when we're uh, <laughs> actually sat here in person. <laughs> so how's the weather there, Trav? Really windy. Proper yeah. windy. If I go up on that top floor, it's like really well. The top there's only like three floors, but if it, it, it's, it's really yeah, I don't really when you think I'm in, in an apartment. I'm talking about a really high building. It's just my house. Um, proper windy. Really, really windy. You can hit slates on the roof, rattling about. And everything. Is that why you're in your onesie again? <laughs> I'm in this because I love it. I, I'd, I'd wear this every day if I didn't have to wash it. Honestly, <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Really good. All right, on. So, Nick, how you doing? <laughs> how do I what? So, how are you doing? Good, good. Good. Yeah. Just had a 50-degree temperature drop between yesterday and today here in Dallas. Wow. This time yesterday it was in the 70s and it is 26 right now. But that's just how we roll in Texas. Yeah, I just talked to a friend of mine that's in Idaho right now and he said it's minus 9. Yeah, I can and imagine. He could have that crap. I'm done with that. Oh, it's 36 right now. Oh, 37. So only a 40 degree drop between today or uh, yesterday and today. Oh, Maria's got oh, where'd Hector go, Dice? Oh, there he is. And Maria's got us by the weather wall. Yep. Today's weather is green. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, she's so pretty, huh? Hmm. Oh, you guys are cracking me up over there. <laughs> Wait, people are swimming on TV. It's not the Olympics, is it? No, they're actually, um, which is ridiculous. It's freezing out, but um, well, freezing for swimming. But yeah, they're just they're they're training. They've got like swim meets coming up or whatever, and they're just doing that. I got to get in the water and swim thing. But I heard that the water is actually warmer. Then it looks, but, when it, but I'm not worried about that. Worried about when you get out of the water. Well, because they all pee in the pool. I mean, that's a well-known fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the fact is, when you get out of there, it's still 50 degrees <laughs> Nick, out. Nick, so Nick. you know, that's the hard part. Is when you get out, it's 50 degrees. Yeah. I saw your I saw your uh, message, uh, Nick. It's, you made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's Eloy. He's very sure. 
So, heck, did you get a chance to meet him? Oh, he's gone. Uh, and there's Francis in her winter coat. Francis? <laughs> hey, you know what? It's cold. <laughs> And that's got her bubble goose on. Man, she stole my what? bike. I know it. What? <laughs> Are you guys bragging on me a little bit? Hey, Francis, what's no. that? Hey, Francis. That, what? What's that thing in your hand? That doesn't look right. <laughs> oh, how rude. It's a lipstick. Oh. No, they just called me over. Come over here. I can't. I got to go get Katie's what? ready. Whatever. Heather's pretending to be busy. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Well, all she does is walk by. She doesn't say Heather's hi to pretending to be busy over here with her, you know. Heather, she just walks back and forth all day. She doesn't come in and say oh. hi to anybody. Okay, who said that? Oh. Me, I did. Uh, okay, Jimmy, you know what? You're not getting anybody else to Google+. Plus. Oh. Remember, I hold the power. Oh. 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 Okay, guys, nice seeing you. Good Good seeing you. Nice seeing you too, Francis. How was everybody's Thanksgiving? Oh, I got to go. Oh, that was awesome. Camera. That's a little too close. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. Thank you. Here. Oh, I can do my hair a little bit more. Oh, you see all the bald spots. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everybody's Thanksgiving was good? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yep. That's good. 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 How was yours? Oh, it was wonderful. I went up uh, to uh, my, my family lives up in Concord. You guys know where that is? I do, yeah. Yeah. Near San Francisco. And so it was great. Actually, the weather was better over there than it was here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's you usually guys, cooler up there. That's good. Your pictures look a lot better than mine. See how <laughs> bright I am? You guys have all the video controls. See, as a director, uh, yeah, I Yeah, it, it's something to do with the bandwidth in your... Uh, in your. I think, I think it, I don't know, because you're wired, aren't you? It's not, it's not a wireless machine. It's just that Maria's camera seems to be... Yeah, fuzzy. And, well, yeah. Sometimes she fuzzy. Loves she loves that glowy light right on her face. Well, there's not a smudge on the lens. It's, <laughs> there's not a smudge on her webcam lens, is there? I don't know. Because I could do it. This uh, is a um, smudge. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> I'm saying uh, you see this the autofocus right? would be thrown off. If, 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 um... No, I'm, just, I'm, I'm giving you a hard time, Nick. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> anyway, she should be back. I don't want to bore you guys. She's probably looking at me right now because she can tell who's talking to uh, you all there. She yeah, has she, a studio cam on. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can tell she's looking right now. But where's she? Where is she? She's taking her time. In this, probably in the studio. This, you're nah, new, John, huh? John. So, is we, so we have to stop by again and bring you guys some treats again soon. Oh, if you must. <laughs> they were so good. You must stop by. Yeah. Stop by. Yeah, I'm off the for the uh, two weeks of Christmas, so you got to do it before. <laughs> Oh, it will be. It, it will be. It will be, be well sooner than that. Oh, it'll be lovely to see you guys again. Are you going in again, Jimmy? Huh? You going in again? Uh, possibly, but right now, uh, my uh, my wife she's got to do some health things for us and uh, take care of herself, and then we'll figure something out. She's all I right. I want to visit again. Hey, you know this guy right here? Who's this right here? You look like uh, David Boreans. Who's this? I can't. Who do I? Hector. How do I click on you? Who's this guy Are right here? You talking about Hector? No. Hector. Yeah, remember, you know the guy Angel? Hector. Oh, that dude. Yeah, he does a bit. <laughs> Doesn't he look like uh, David Boreans from? He does. He does. Yeah. yeah. A little bit from Bones. Uh, or the other version. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, like in, uh, no, don't. Yeah. It's not an insult, really. It's not really. No, no, I don't. I don't mind. I don't no, mind. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Where is did my? I, did I see you there at the studio this past Monday, Francis? I was there. Monday, I was off. Uh, oh. I paid a little visit. You did? Yeah. Did, uh, did Maria uh, talk to you and stuff? Yes, it was a surprise. Thanks to Tony, who we truly miss in the mornings. Oh yeah, we miss him too. Yeah. But um, but we love Bobby, you know. Bobby's yeah, Bobby D is cool. I got a chance to meet him yesterday on the Hangout when he joined for a while. Oh, so he came out here because he's he's Google Hangout. He's got this thing. He's got like an like anti Google Hangout. You should give him really? a hard time every time you see him. Give him a hard time. Yeah. Speaking of, I'm surprised that Tony hasn't tuned in from home. He's probably oh, asleep. No one yeah. Tony. He's sleeping. Yeah. He's getting his hair done. He should be ready in about a week. 
<laughs> and the hits keep coming. I know. <laughs> Even when he's not there, I guess. Yeah. We don't need Tony to do that. So Eloy's got this special thing. Um, yeah. So but, Hector like, O'Connor missed... Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay, Francis. I, I mean, but it was Anthony because I was watching the video when I got back. He yeah. actually told Maria right before I popped in, and she goes, "Ah, so that was my surprise." Oh, cool. <laughs> but it's okay. If you can let Anthony know, I forgive him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <We all laughs> if have you to see say him, that's yeah. Every that's something Anthony's used to hearing. Yeah. Okay, Anthony, we forgive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mostly met everyone in the in the crowd. I met Josh, um, uh-huh. Tashaka in person. Chaka, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. And, um, and Lisa Breck. I'm um, Riverside. Oh, Riverside. So you drove yeah. up. Okay. Yeah. About an hour and twelve. I took. I te- technically it took me two hours because heavy traffic on Mondays is very tough. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause that's that's why I didn't come back on Monday. I knew that. Yeah. I knew mm-hmm. that. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you stopped by. Maria, uh, Lisa's on the air right now, but I think Maria has just left the building. She'd get all mad. I looked through all her makeup and stuff. Let's see. <laughs> She'll probably see this live when Wait, she gets I can hear. Ooh, look at all this makeup. Let's see. Is she coming over? She'd be so mad. I'd be looking at her makeup. <laughs> now, is that her personal stash of makeup, or is that the studio makeup? No, this is her personal stash. Uh-oh. And she left her phone here? Oh, is it open? Is it unlocked? It's unlocked. Let's see. <laughs> you, should send, you, should send, you should send random text to people. Uh, oh my God, I'm reading your text. I shouldn't be. Doing... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so it is unlocked. It was open right here. Yeah. See. Send a random text to somebody. I should. I should like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it says to, it's locked. It's locked. Dang it. Oh well. Anyway, guys, I gotta go get something to eat. It was great chatting with you. Hi, right, Francis. Same here. Yeah. See, you. see you later. Oh, you know that's what it is. She's outside. Look at her. She's outside. Can you guys see her? And you guys. You've got, got food outside. Yeah, we don't. Mar- I see now. Mar- We're Mar- 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 She's outside with the sumo guys. Okay. <laughs> so is Araxia. Okay. And Mari Bet. And Mari Bet. All right, guys. Take care. See you. Hi, right, Francis. You too. It looks like they're having a little American gladiator outside the studio. Uh, you know what? When when we had when we had that that show over here, ours were just called gladiators, and the same with when American Idol. When that were over here, it was just called Idol. Mhm. Uh, do you ever heard of Gladiators 2000? Uh, when, when were it shown? Which was 13 years ago. Yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> yeah, Maria Sansone was um, hosting it along with um, Idol host yeah. Ryan Seacrest. I had a I had a friend that was actually an American Gladiator. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Did he end up becoming a, a champion? Uh, no, he was actually one of the gladiators, like one of the like the guys you have to go against. Oh, the big guys uh, to take out the um, the ones who are participating in the event. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember his. Uh, uh, it was in Pyro, Gyro. Well, he was one of the he was one of the only black gladiators. He's really dark skin. Mm, I we'll have to look it up on um, on IMDb <laughs> to find out the the contestants and the um, particip- former participants. Looks like Roxy is doing the uh, climb the rope when Bobby D's trying to help her out. Bobby D was doing it earlier. And the Vikings. I'm looking through the pictures here to see if I can see them. Actually, they got a couple of black gladiators. Do you like any of these guys? Oh, there he is. Is that him? Can't zoom this picture in. And there goes Maria Noraxia. They're going to ruin their dresses. I'd ruin a Roxy's dress. <laughs> <laughs> Trav. <Yeah. laughs> too easy. I shouldn't even have said that, should I? It's too, too obvious. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, 
when Maria when Maria gets back, we should tell her she won. Yeah, I don't see the looking through the cast here. Cast one. I'm watching that scene. Now I feel like getting a smoothie. Me too. Hey, Heather. What up, peeps? So, Hi. Maria Hi. still. Maria still Heather, doing? good morning. Hello. So, do you guys know who um, Tessa and Chin is? I do. Okay, I'm going to try to bring her over as soon as Maria finishes the weekend roundup. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, she is a semifinalist on The Voice. She's from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. She has toured with Jimmy Cliff and Shaggy. And Shaggy! She, Shaggy! And oh, yeah. she's, <laughs> now uh, she's made it to the semifinals. She's ridiculous. She's gorgeous. Yes. She has a voice. <laughs> you just want to hear her talk, just with a Jamaican accent. That, I, that really does it for me. Yeah, right? Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. She's just a love. So as soon as uh, Maria finishes the weekend roundup, which should be in a minute or two, um, I'll try to bring her over. So the semifinals are next week, and then hopefully she'll make it to the finals. And all of Jamaica has come out for her. They actually got the rights to the voice just because of her to watch her. Wow. She had Usain Bolt in the audience like two weeks ago when she was freaking out. Yeah, I saw that one, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. They just oh, wrapped up. Awesome. Let me see if I can grab her for you. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, Heather, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Heather was working the day I went to go visit. Cause I didn't I didn't get a chance to meet her. I met everybody in the studio except for her, I think. Yeah, I didn't meet Heather either. And like Francis mentioned, it was her day off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to meet Gina too, but Tony told me she had a day off because every Monday Gina Silva does the Gina's people thing. Mm -hmm. And I think she only did like the voiceover thing, and at the end, I think for um, um, I'm Gina Silva, Fox Eleven News. Yeah. So I guess she just did her editing story and added her voiceover for the story. I thought she was going to be there in person that day. Yeah. Yeah. Heather is a crack up though, man. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Like just like how you see her just now, she's like she's just like that um, in person too. She is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I saw your um comment, um, Jimmy, about Tony, yeah, because um they called him on Monday after the 10:30 show ended because I left with him after we um after they finished the 10:30 show. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they because and I heard because they because Maria mentioned on Tuesday that former um 10 o'clock anchor Carlos Amesqua left. Okay, yeah, I didn't I didn't that kind of caught me by surprise when you guys when Tony hasn't been there like that. Yeah. So I was just uh. I, I saw him live yesterday on the Studio 11 LA um, show with um, Laura Diaz and Jeff Michael. Uh huh. Yeah, it was great to see him again. I told him, I, I even tweeted to, um, him saying, now that he's going to be on the 10 o'clock news, I guess I'll have to watch both shows as well because I don't want to miss a single um, um, show with with Tony in the in the news. So I don't <laughs> go to sleep till 11. <laughs> And there's Anthony all the way back there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I ran into Anthony at a local. Uh, I mentioned it before. I ran into Anthony at, the, at a local uh, Staples, and he and we, and we talked for like half an hour in Staples. I just bumped him away. That's cool. Yeah. Even yeah, I had a little conversation with Anthony as well on Monday. He told me where I'm from, and I told him from Riverside. He said, "Did you take a, a transportation?" No, brought my own car. Uh, there's Maria. 
Hey, nice trench coat, Maria. Thank you. Am I muted? Nope. No, you, we can hear you loud and clear. Shaka. The trench coat with the mafia. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's been holding the shotguns. Hey, it's a shotgun. Excellent. Hmm. Oh, we're just eating some goodies from outside. Thank you. You are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> More beautiful wow. than person. Seriously. Wow. She's so fine. Oh, so, <laughs> so wonderful to meet you. Oh my god, you're amazing. Thank you very much. You guys, look who has dropped in today. Tess Ann Chin, of Hi. course, from The Voice. I was a little ahead of myself because I thought you had won. Oh god. I mean, from the really, I really and then in fact I think I said it oh. everywhere. I said, winner of the voice, winner of the voice. Oh, yeah. But um you're one of the finalists. How many is it now? It's five now. Top five. five. Yeah. Your accent. I could just sit here and listen to you talk because you're not you guys. Yeah. Um it's so beautiful. Thank you. Um, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? Uh, I, I, it's it's definitely coming down to the wire, and it's a lot more work, but I'm just loving every moment of it because when else in your life are you gonna experience something like this? You know, so soaking it in and just you know enjoying this amazing experience. Wow! <laughs> I want to quickly introduce you to everybody that's hanging out with us. Okay. This is kind of a behind the scenes look at what we're doing um, in the newsroom. It's a group that's okay. hanging out, and we get to hang out with some people from all over the world. This is. Um, Hector. He's actually Hi, here Hector. locally. He's from uh, Southern California. Jimmy Good as morning. well. He's in Koreatown here in L.A. Hi, Jimmy. He's local. Hi, Hi. Jimmy. Nick is in Dallas, Texas. Hello, Nick. Trev is in Yorkshire. He's in the U.K. Hi, Hi. Oh, my family's there. Where? Oh, really? They're in Warwickshire. Warwickshire and Essex. Oh, okay, yeah. My sister was down there. Right, yeah. I went to Jam high school in England, but I was born and raised in Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> the accent is unbelievable. I know. I can <laughs> you could just talk. I mean, it's one thing to sing, but then to talk with this accent is just, I don't know, for me, it just represents beauty and oh, thank you. laid back, thank the you. beaches. Um, yeah, I grew up in Hawaii, so oh, it's kind of similar. So I've never it's been. It's my dream to go there. Well, I hear it's very similar to the lifestyle in Jamaica. I hear it's absolutely also this world amazing. My brother went to his honeymoon and he was just like, oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. Now, so your family's all over the place now, yes, right? Yes, yes they are. I have um, my sister and my dad and my dad's side of the family live in Jamaica. And um, my mom, my big sister, my big brother live in England and I have a brother that lives in Colorado. So can I ask what... what Beautiful combination. <laughs> Are you? Um, I, it's, I'm a mix of everything. <laughs> yeah. There's a bit of Chinese, black, white, Cherokee. I'm sure there's more in there that I don't know about. <laughs> wow. But it's a it's a, a big mix. Um, Jamaica is a huge melting pot. Yes. And I don't think a lot mm -hmm. of people know that there's a, so many different cultures there and so many different races and ethnicities. So we're all a result of that. <laughs> wow. Out of many one people. That's our motto. I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Now, um, I, I'm I'm enchanted. Honestly, yeah, this is right. Isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just staring, smiling like a. Oh, thank you. Um, Jimmy, did you have a question? I wasn't sure if you had your hand up or you were just agreeing. Oh no! Yeah, I have I have a question. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Go ahead. <clears throat> First of all, I think you're amazing. Not only are you beautiful and your voice is amazing, but you always appear so humble. Uh, uh, and I and I and I think that's like the topper for everything. Um, now I know you're only a semifinalist, but has the, if you win, are you going to be writing your own songs, or is this something that they're that they're going to provide you? Going to provide you with music and songs for your first album, or or do or do you, or do you write your own music? I, I do normally back at home. I, I write my own music, but you know I'm not afraid to to make it a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if I knew how to write international hits, maybe I'd be an international star already. So I'm not afraid to to you know have someone guide me in that way and to learn from people. God, so I love it. it. Inter international. international effort. <laughs> I love it. International, man. Gosh, yes. Jesus. <laughs> um, uh, what made you decide to go on the Voice? 
what well, was the impetus? You know, I was in Jamaica and I, I sing back at home. I'm an artist there, but I just felt like I was on a hamster wheel, you mm -hmm. know, like I was working and working, but not really getting anywhere and mm -hmm. not re like you couldn't be able to break through the glass ceiling mm -hmm. in a way. And one of my real life mentors, Shaggy, ah, who is, Shaggy. you know, a very yeah. cool guy and yeah. who really gives back okay. in Jamaica a lot. You know, he's always kind of been there for me, and he's like, Tess, I think there's this, this wicked opportunity for you to, to go on this program called The Voice. And I was like, I don't know, and I was scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was scared of what people would think. I was scared if America would accept me, you know, because I'm obviously I'm coming from a completely different, you know, place. But Not so. We're all watching pot here <laughs> That's America, true. That's true. Know? But I just didn't, I didn't know if my people would think I was being... You know, mm. turning my back on mm -hmm, my mm -hmm. culture or I whatever. That. I can understand. But I am, I've just been overwhelmed Good. by the, the positive response are, to the support. Are you prepared to win? Oh, gosh. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, most I, people prepare themselves to lose. I feel like I'm going to, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go home tonight. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what? I, I feel like this whole experience has been such an amazing one. Like, I feel like we've all won already yeah. so you know so <laughs> oh we have to run she's going on the set okay oh i wish we could have you sing for us but we cannot let's take a quick photo okay with, thanks for talking to me here's your camera right here <laughs> let me get my camera out okay ready one there's a bit of a delay one two three yay thank you thank you everybody have a good day Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very so much. And I wish you the best of luck. Oh my gosh, I think Jimmy, you pull you oh, pull a different pose in every picture, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one, that one. You did that one last time, didn't you? Like the uh... <laughs> What's it called, like, American Sprinter? I love the way she talks. Oh my god. Isn't it? She's Seriously? So oh my god. <laughs> so adorable, adorable, and that voice. See, I wanted to ask. I, I wanted to ask what part of Jamaica she's from because I went to Jamaica a couple of years ago and stayed in Montego Bay and went to Duns River Falls and you know Kingston and whatever. I wanted to know where she was from. Kingston, man. Um, Kingston, man. Kingston. Irie. Irie. Uh, my my <laughs> uncle. I've never been to Jamaica. I want to go, and he wants and he. Thinks, it's cool. Yeah. So, everyone's just like, no problem, man. No problem. Everything is like, no problem. <laughs> yeah, it's very mellow. Yeah. You know. You know um, it's, just, it's just like Hawaii. Hawaii is the same way. It's like so shaka brada. Like, yeah. yeah. Whatever. You guys and, can all go to Hawaii. And when I and when I went there, the, um, the 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 Jamaican money to American money was like four to one, but nothing cost more money. You know. Are you interviewing her? Oh, we just talked to her. It was Roxy, yeah. Yeah. There she went. Yeah, but, I was, but when I went, it was like the Jamaican money was four to one, but nothing actually cost more. So like you go to McDonald's there, and the burger was still four dollars, but it's four Jamaican versus which is equivalent to one American. So oh, everything. Good. So you went there, and you were just like, had hey, it was ridiculous with this thing, just buying stuff, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I want to go to Jamaica. My um, godmother and her sisters Maria, they went to Hawaii last year, and they loved it. Hawaii is a beautiful place. You yeah. guys know that. You have to make a trip yeah. out there. Oh, it is. I, 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 I hope to go one day. And when they came back, they said to me, aloha. Now, here's, here's what I'll tell you is the difference between Hawaii and any other beautiful paradise island in the world. Okay? Because it is beautiful. It's beautiful in, in, in Tahiti. It's beautiful in Jamaica. But in Hawaii, it is different. It's even more beautiful. And here's why I think it is so. Hawaii is still... It's alive. You know what I mean? The volcano is still erupting. So in the sense of when you step off the plane, you literally will feel the life of the land beneath your feet. That's how I feel about Hawaii, and literally it is alive because it is still growing. And Kauai is beautiful. I've been there too. I went to Oahu and Kauai, and it's amazing. Maria, can, can I, um, before you go, yeah. it doesn't have to be now, but before you go, can I have a chat with you yes. off air? Yes. Darling, of course. Uh, I, I have w just one thing I want to say. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. He's like, I see a gray hair. Um, wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 She's just adorable and yeah. charming and sexy. I was just about to start singing Miss Alova Lova. Miss Alova Lova. 
Did you Mr. Keep... Bombastic, really Did... fun to... I saw your, like, lower part of Mr. your body. Mr. Bombastic. Seeing that. That's because that's what you do. You gotta, you gotta. Oh, that's when you start. Yeah, you know, I've kinda... never talked about my oh, West no. Indian blood. But... You got to let it roll. Yeah. You got to. Hey, you still, you still using straight razor? Yes, sir. Um. Okay. Cool. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want to just thank our uh, YouTubers that are watching. Um. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. It's Friday, and we've got a good oh, show. We hang out every day here at uh, the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles. So. Be sure to come back and join us starting at 8.30 every day. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.